Brennan with the ball now. Passes by Cunningham and passes off at midcourt. 43 seconds, 42 seconds, 41 seconds, 40 seconds. We're going to see a one-shot situation. Here we go again. What's that old saying? Mother told me there would be days like this. Well, we're seeing them, Mom. Number 32, Bob Cunningham with the ball. Dribbles around the key, 24 seconds, 23 seconds, 22 seconds. With the ball, it's Joe Quigg. Quigg back to number 32, Bob Cunningham. Kansas can't afford to foul. That's bad. 16, 15 seconds left. Quigg looks up at the clock, then passes back to Cunningham. Who's going to be the one of the five boys from North Carolina to shoot? Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four. Driving in his currency. He shoots. It's popped down by Chamberlain, and that's it. That's it. A double overtime. Oh, Chamberlain jumped high in the air and knocked that down into the arms of Johnny Parker. Yes, sir. A double overtime. And the PA man has just asked the crowd to give both teams a mighty well-deserved hand, and this they do. The regular period ended 46-46, and the first overtime period in five minutes, each only scored one field goal, 48-48. Now that's where it is as time is in. Kansas takes the tip. Billings with the ball at the top of the Kansas lane. Billings over to Maurice King. Maurice King drives in just to the right of the post. Then the one-handed jump shot. It's up. It's no good. Chamberlain tries to battle for that ball. It is falls into the hands of North Carolina. With it now, Pete, uh, Bob Cunningham for North Carolina. Yes, sir. 48-48. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in this second overtime period as Kearns has the ball for North Carolina on the court to the right. He drives down, has Billings all over him, goes into the free throw line, and let's see, I don't know. He's called for double dribble traveling. So KU brings it in at midcourt. And now Conway blows the whistle, and we have a timeout charge to Kansas. So with two minutes and 56 seconds left on the clock in this second overtime period, the score hasn't changed a bit. Two minutes and 54 seconds. The clock starts to run. Kansas in possession of the ball. And the stall is on again. Maurice King and Bob Billings. North Carolina's not going to have much of that. Kearns and Cunningham come out. They passes into Chamberlain at the free throw line. He doesn't shoot. Gives over to his left to uh, Elston. Elston back to Maurice King. In the backcourt on the left. Back to Elston. Chamberlain will not shoot from the free throw line. That was unusual. Chamberlain has got a sinking two and three on him right now at the present time. One of them is Quigg. The other one is Brennan. And falling back is Cunningham. With Elston uh, now, uh, Elston uh, in possession of the ball, the pass to Lineski in the corner, into Chamberlain, Chamberlain under the basket, he doesn't shoot, he gives it back to Lineski and it goes out of bounds. I think Dick Hoff wanted the shot that time, 48-48, two minutes and five seconds left in this second overtime period. Kearns in possession of the ball for North Carolina, two minutes and uh, one second, two minutes exactly left in this double overtime. It's Cunningham in possession of the ball. With it now, number 20 for North Carolina. That would be uh, into the lineup, Bob Young, in the North Carolina lineup. Over on the far side to Quigg in the corner to the left. Back again to uh, Cunningham. Cunningham to Prennan at the top of the lane. Young in for uh, lots in that North Carolina lineup now. It's still uh, Pete Brennan with the ball at the top of the lane. Passes off to Cunningham. Cunningham with it. One minute and 25 seconds left in this second overtime period. 48-48. No change on the scoreboard. Kansas 48, North Carolina 48. Kearns takes the pass on the left-hand side. He's got uh, Billings on him. He can't afford to foul. They're slowing it down again. They're slowing it down. One minute, five seconds right now left in this second overtime. And we will have Kearns driving in to the free throw line, runs into Billings, Billings is down, Billings has a foul called on him. With a minute and two seconds, the clock is stopped. A minute and two seconds uh, left in the second overtime. And uh, Kearns will be at the free throw line. The regular period ended 46-46. The first overtime period ended 48-48. That's where it is now with a minute and two seconds left in the third overtime period. As Kearns sets to shoot, it's in the air. It's no good and Chamberlain rebounds for Kansas. Those are the ones that hurt you. Chamberlain gives to King. King down court to Elston on this side. 53 seconds, 52 seconds, 51 seconds. The feed to Chamberlain. Chamberlain uh, has the boys all over him. Chamberlain. And uh, there's a little bit of a mix-up out on the court. A little bit between Pete, uh, 
Pete Brennan and uh, Will Chamberlain. And both teams out on the floor. Wait just a moment. Uh, Pete Brennan and Will Chamberlain uh, fighting for the ball. Dick Harp uh, gets down to Frank McGuire. Frank McGuire and uh, Dick Harper down here now at the bench in front of us. Reese Peters comes down. We're having a little bit of trouble here. The officials, a lot depending on this game. Pictures, flash bombs all over the place. Cameraman, Dick Harp, and Frank McGuire now down at the Kansas bench. And Dean Nesmith telling the bench to sit down. The Kansas boys telling them to sit down. We'll have a foul. The flash bombs are going off all over the place. Dick Harp is now on the bench. Frank McGuire is going back to the North Carolina bench. He's talking to one of the officials, and we haven't uh, seen Frank uh, McGuire. He still doesn't look like he's uh, riled. That's Lombard now talking to Frank McGuire, and uh, of course the partisan crowd, partisan crowd, uh, all in favor of Kansas. Temporarily, tempers flared as they would under these situations. 49 seconds left in this uh, second overtime period, 49 seconds. The score deadlocked, 48-48. Will Chamberlain was fouled by Pete Brennan, and they tangled. And uh, now some more action down on the North Carolina bench, and uh, the uh, boys are escorting one of the people out of the auditorium for North Carolina. Yes, sir. Well, we've just about seen everything here tonight. And Pete Brennan shakes hands with Will Chamberlain, and the crowd likes that. Well, that, uh, that does it. Everything is back to normal now. Dick Harp gets off the bench. He comes down to Frank McGuire. Frank McGuire and Dick Harp shake hands at midcourt. Shaking hands at midcourt. And the PA announcer is letting the people know about it. Tension high, of course. Frank McGuire and Dick Harp. And Chamberlain misses the free throw, and North Carolina has possession of the ball, and Dick Harp didn't even see it, and neither did we. Chamberlain missed that shot. 39 seconds, 38 seconds, 37 seconds left in this second overtime. Chamberlain missed that free throw, and uh, North Carolina swept the board. Tommy Kearns has it on the left court now in the back. And Burlings comes out to get him. They're going to go for one shot. 23 seconds, 22 seconds left. Now 20 seconds left in this second overtime period. 48-48. Tension is high, of course, as we said. Dick Hart shaking hands with Frank McGuire. Pete Brennan shaking hands with Will Chamberlain. And they call for a timeout with 10 seconds left. What? No, wait a minute. Jump ball, they say. Wait a minute. He called. North Carolina boy called timeout, but they say no. A jump ball. A jump ball at midcourt. It'll be... Let's see who it is. Let's see who jumps. Holding the ball more than three seconds, evidently. We thought North Carolina asked for a timeout. The tip, Chamberlain to Billings. Billings asked for a timeout right away. Six seconds left. The score, 48 to 48. North Carolina bench is off. Lenny Rosenbluth comes over to the timer's table. Frank McGuire is over there. They thought Kansas may have had too many timeouts. That's not so, evidently. Time is in. North Carolina still gathered around Frank McGuire. Six seconds left in this ball game. Kansas in possession of the ball. One shot. Everybody has gotten into the act here tonight. Kansas has used a total of uh, eight men six men so far, uh, seven men tonight. North Carolina has used seven. Time is in, and uh, Reese King passes into Billings. Billings drives in. Lineski shoots with two seconds. It's up. It's no good. Follow-up shot, no good. And there it is. Three overtime periods. Frank McGuire says, come around here. We only have a minute before we go into the third overtime period. Dick Harp says the same thing. We only have one minute before uh, the third overtime starts, so let's uh, just say it's still the same score that the first uh, overtime period ended in 48 to 48 the second overtime period has just ended 48 48 and i think well, we have seen a record here tonight three overtime periods in two nights in an ncaa championship uh, tournament they're shaking hands at center court there now will chamberlain out there ready to jump ball and things are about ready to get underway and here's bruce wright joe quigg for north carolina jumping against will chamberlain there's the tip and it's taken by bob billings of kansas 
on the right hand side driving down he passes off to Maurice King at the top of the lane we'll have another five minutes we're in the third overtime period the score 48 48 Maurice King shooting from the top of the key off the rim wait for the ball now and let's see who comes up with it Ron Lineski no it is Bob Cunningham of North Carolina the photographers gathered around both benches and breaking up a pass is Bob Bellinke knocks it out of bounds so North Carolina's ball inbounds at midcourt the ball is thrown in by Kearns to Cunningham. Cunningham has got Gene Elston on him. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in this third overtime period. Kearns takes it over to the left, drives in under for a shot, it's good! The North Carolina bench is up, and I take back what I said about Lenny Rosenblut not being an excited chap. He's off the bench now, really yelling. Kansas trailing by two, 48 to 50, Elston shoots from outside it's up it's no good sweeping the boards it is Brennan no Craig of North Carolina four minutes three seconds four minutes and two seconds now four minutes exactly left in this third overtime period North Carolina leading 50 to 48 it is Quake with the ball driving around the key Chamberlain with him sets up a screen passes off now to Pete Brennan Brennan on this side and Bill, Bob Billings comes out gets a little bit too close and a foul is called the second foul on Bob Billings so that puts Tommy Kearns at the free throw line. Kansas has Elston, Lineski, Chamberlain, King, and Billings. North Carolina going with the services of Bob Young, Pete Brennan, Joe Quake, Bob Cunningham, and Tommy Kearns. The first shot is up. It's good. 51 for North Carolina, 48 for Kansas. The clock stopped. Three minutes, 47 seconds left in this third overtime period. The second one is up. It's good. Now Kansas trails by four. Elston with the ball on this side to the left. At the top of the lane to Billings. Billings over to Maurice King in the far court to the right. Back to Elston, just to the left of the free throw line to Lineski. Lineski has got uh, Brennan all over him. Into Chamberlain. Chamberlain bounces the ball, goes up. He shoots. It's good. It's good that the whistle blew. The whistle blew, and we have a foul. A foul called on uh, Quig. No, it is on Young, Bob Young. And Chamberlain has 22 points. And he has at the free throw line for a one-shot situation. John Parker gets ready to go in for uh, Kansas. For Billings. Billings out. John Parker in, the co-captain and senior. Six-foot uh, guard. Chamberlain with a bonus shot now. And it's 50 for Kansas, 52 for North Carolina. Chamberlain shoots. It's good. Kansas trails by one, 51-52. And Kearns takes it up court. Three minutes and 22 seconds as the clock starts to run once again. Three minutes now and 18 seconds, and North Carolina's Tommy Kearns dribbling around the top of the key to his right. John Parker's in there on him, drives into the free throw line, doesn't try for a shot. He's just playing ball control now as uh, he passes off to Cunningham in the court to the left. Cunningham with it. It's exactly three minutes left in this third overtime period. Three minutes. It's now Bob Cunningham with Gene Nelson on him. Gene Nelson almost steals it away, but doesn't quite. Cunningham turns away from him. Works his way over to the right, almost at midcourt now, and let's see, I think we'll have a personal on Gene Elston. That's the second one on Gene Elston. This is where your two defensive men in there at the uh, post mean a lot, Chamberlain and Lineski. The shot is up and it's so good, goes out of bounds. It didn't, the kid was excited, I guess. Tommy Kearns missed the backboard, the basket, the net and all. Kansas brings it into play. They trail by one, 51 to 52, two minutes and 46 seconds, two minutes, 45 seconds left. As with the ball is uh, Parker at the top of the key and he's got the Cunningham on him, but he gets the pass into Chamberlain. Chamberlain to Lineski under the basket. He shoots, it's no good. The bench is up. We can't see what's happening. Now let's see. We have a foul. A foul called on Pete Brennan of North Carolina. Three fouls on Pete Brennan. Three fouls on Pete Brennan. Maurice King at the charity line. He can tie it up with a one and one and he can go ahead if he makes them both. It's up, it's good, it's a tied up ball game. 52 to 52. Seven points. Second one is no good, it's still tied up. 52 to 52, North Carolina in possession of the ball. Sweeping the boards was Joe Quake to center. He turns the ball over to Pete Brennan. Pete Brennan takes that ball down court now. Passes off to Kearns. Kearns in the uh, backcourt here on the right side. Dribbles around to his left. And this is the same type of game we saw Michigan State play against uh, North Carolina last night. Three overtimes. North Carolina coming out on top in the third overtime period, 74 to 70. Lenny Rosenblum's off the bench following a few instructions. 
Two minutes, exactly two minutes left in this third overtime period, 52 to 52. Now Quig has the ball, a pass from Kearns, and he stands there. Chamberlain comes out and says, let's do something with it. So he gives it to Kearns after driving around to his right. Kearns now drives to his left. On the left-hand side now, it's Kearns with the ball. He runs into John Parker of Kansas. A minute and 40 seconds left in this third overtime period, 52 to 52. And this is the dream game of the year. This is the one they win. And the ball is stolen away by John Parker. John Parker steals the ball away for Kansas. Dick Harp says, let's take a timeout. And they do. Oh, boy. A minute and 28 seconds left on the clock in the third overtime period. We'll have Kansas bringing the ball in at midcourt. And uh, it's been a long night, I'll say that. This uh, all started at 7 o'clock. It's now 5 after 11, Kansas City time. We've seen an awful lot of the round ball tonight. Maurice King throws into Parker. Parker back to King. King back to Parker and Parker back to King again. Now back to Parker. A clock is running. A minute and 13, a minute and 12 seconds left. Now a minute and 10 seconds in the third overtime period. A minute 10 left. And uh, Maurice King throws down to Gene Elston. Now he's back to uh, King. Over to John Parker on the uh, left side, right side rather, to Lineski. Lineski to free throw line to Chamberlain. Chamberlain goes up for a shot. He doesn't get it away. And partially blocked and let's see who comes up with it let's see they're going to give it to North Carolina 47 seconds left 46 seconds the clock is still running 44 43 no Kansas will bring it in the official comes up and gives it to Kansas 39 38 seconds 37 seconds Elston they're going Elston with the ball in the court on this side a one shot situation and jumping high is Kearns Kearns jumps high and runs into Elston and again we have a flare up of tempers We'll have a technical. Wait a minute. The entire bench, both benches are up. And I, uh, we have Tommy Kearns, a file on Kearns, shaking hands now with Gene Olsen. A little mix up, and of course, you can understand when you get a couple of boys out there, both in their last year of play, both in their last year of play. And both of them wanting to end their college careers with a national championship. You can't help but have a little bit of uh, tension. And we certainly had it here tonight. It has not been restricted to one or two players, but the entire house, both teams. Elston shoots. It's important. It's no good. He has two shots. No good. Frank McGuire says, I want a timeout after you get it. The second one is good. It's 53-52. <clears throat> North Carolina brings the ball in. And North Carolina asks for a timeout. 28 seconds left in the ball game. 28 seconds left in the third overtime period. The score, North Carolina, or rather Kansas, 53. North Carolina, 52. 28 seconds left. North Carolina will bring the ball into play. Kansas leads by one, 53-52. And we just heard from one of the boys down in press row in front of us that Dick Hart made the quote of the night when uh, one of the players on the bench says, oh, coach, he missed it, referring to Gene Elston's shot. And the coach just looked at him and said, would you like to shoot it? Kern driving in for a shot. He doesn't get it away. He doesn't get it away. Let's see what they call it. It goes out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by John Parker of Kansas. So North Carolina brings it in. Nine seconds left. Driving in is Pete. No, Joe Quigg. And we have a foul, I believe. A foul called on, let's see who it is on uh, King foul on King four fouls on King that puts Joe Quigg at the North Carolina charity line with six seconds left now they can make the first or of two shots it will be a two shot situation he can make one and tie it up he can make two and go ahead by one point 54 53 and they'll still be when the clock starts to run the ball comes inbounds there'll be six seconds left for Kansas to tie it up or go ahead rather by one point <coughs> Six seconds left in this third overtime period. The score, Kansas 53, and uh, North Carolina 52. Okay, Quig at the free throw line, and here's a boy that has two shots coming up, and he'd probably trade his entire scoring career in college for these two points right now. With six seconds left on the clock, Kansas ahead by 153 to 52. I don't know. What would you do? Ponder Lee Trump. The shot is up. It's good. It's tied up 53 to 53. Here comes another. 
This is the one that could win the game. Will still be six seconds for Kansas to shoot and win by one. It's up. It's good. It's good. 54 to 53. North Carolina leading and Kansas asks for a timeout. The clock has started to run. It's one second off the clock. We have five seconds. And you can bet this. You can bet that North Carolina will go back out there and press for five seconds. And, and they'll try and let anybody get that shot away. I'll say that. They're not choosy now. Don't worry about beating Chamberlain under the basket or Maurice King from the top of the lane. Get your hands on it. Put the ball in the air, then close your eyes and pray. Now, a timeout means that Kansas will bring it in at midcourt, and that'll be John Parker to Maurice King, who is a mighty fair country shooter. I'll say that. Five seconds Kansas has for a field goal to win 55-54. Time is in. There's the pass to Lineski. He turns, he tries to feed Chamberlain under the basket. There is the game. That's all over. North Carolina wins 54 to 53.